is the Google Data Analytics certificate finally dead? People have been wondering this for months now, but Google just released its new Cloud Data Analytics certificate, which is an absolute game changer. And if you're considering getting the Data Analytics certificate, then wait, because things have changed. In this video, I will explain everything about this new course and how it's going to impact you and whether it's still worth taking the old cert or if you should just go with this new one and forget about the Google Data Analytics certificate once and for all. So as usual, we're going to start with a quick summary before we get into all the specifics. And it's a five core series for complete beginners with no previous experience required. It takes around two months at 10 hours a week, so around 80 hours to complete the entire certificate, which is pretty short if we compare it to the traditional Google Data Analytics, which is around six months at 10 hours a week. So we can see that this new course is actually three times faster for you to complete, but we'll talk more about that later. Now, the goal here is to help you launch a career in cloud data analytics and build the in-demand skills and gain credentials to go from beginner to job ready in 10 weeks or less. That's at least what they claim. And I'll break all of this down later in this video, including what cloud data analytics actually means. So let's start with cloud computing and what that actually means. So cloud computing refers to the delivery of computing services over the internet, such as servers, storage, databases, analytics, and more. And companies use this because it can save them money, they can buy exactly the resources that they actually need, and it's really easy to get started with. Instead of having to set up all the infrastructure and things themselves, they can actually buy them from companies like Amazon or Microsoft. And this is why it's growing a lot and companies are using cloud more and more. Since I know you guys like numbers, according to Grandview Research, the cloud computing market size is expected to grow at a compound annual growth rate of 21% within the next six years, which is pretty solid. And with this course, you combine data analytics with cloud computing to give you an even stronger skill set that is highly in demand by employers. Now, in the actual course, as I briefly mentioned, you'll explore the benefits of data analytics in cloud computing and why it's so valuable. And you will apply transformation strategies to data sets to solve business needs. So simply put, transform and work with your data sets to solve business problems. You will also describe key aspects of managing and storing data in Google Cloud. And this course really is all about using Google Cloud and its cloud computing platform to work with data. And finally, you will develop skills in the five key stages of visualizing data in the cloud. So data visualization, but just working with cloud computing. But now we're going to examine the course curriculum more in detail to better understand what you're actually going to learn. And as they are focusing on beginners, the first course is just a general introduction to data analytics, although they do focus on cloud right away. The next course is going to cover data management and storage in the cloud, of course, using Google's own cloud computing platform. And if you took a Microsoft course, they would definitely teach you Azure. And if you took an Amazon one, they would teach you AWS. That's just the way it is. And the third course is just data transformation in the cloud and then storytelling, how to visualize data in the cloud. And I did actually take a look at the course description and they're talking about, you know, creating different reports, creating dashboards and creating different forms of data visualizations to present your data to stakeholders in an efficient way. And in the final course, they're just trying to help you prepare for a job by putting it all together in the final course. Now, I also checked the details here and there is kind of a preparation for job module and there's also a capstone project that you'll do at the end, which is like a final project at the end, basically. And there's also a module about AI for some reason and a little bit about how to deal with LinkedIn and resumes and all that stuff. But now let's get into the pros and cons of this certificate. And I do think that it's a very good option. I really like that they focus on cloud computing. Competition can be very intense, especially at the entry level, but the more kind of specialized you are, the easier it is going to be to stand out and actually compete as in any field. And cloud computing is actually growing at a very fast rate as a field. And there is going to be a lot of job opportunities in cloud computing. Now, if we talk about the course itself, I do really like that it's by Google. It's nice overall and all of their other programs have been top rated and I've actually not seen a single bad Google course, at least from these certificates. Now it is pretty short, but I think that's also fine. And you'll learn the fundamentals and have more time to practice and learn other skills. And there are a lot of courses out there that could save a lot of time. that are kind of just wasting time. And this one seems to be more concise and straight to the point in a way that's better than the original Google Data Analytics certificate, which some people thought was pretty slow. That's both a good and bad thing. It just depends on where you're coming from. Again, the pricing is pretty good as well. And it's part of the Coursera Plus subscription. So you can access different free trials, financial aid and other options as well to help you out. 
Now a downside is going to be the same thing as the upside, which is that it's shorter and that it has less content. And the claim that you'll be job ready in 10 weeks or less is actually pretty much incorrect. If you study a lot and really go through everything and do things on the side, sure, there might be some way that you could do this, but to actually become a data analyst, you'll need way more stuff. And I've become quite tired of these descriptions that claim to make you job ready in like five weeks when you're even doing it part time. It's just not possible. So how does this one compare to the original Google Data Analytics certificate? And there are so many things we can talk about here. It's the length, that it's shorter, it's that it's focusing mainly on cloud data analytics instead of just being a very broad course covering data analytics. And it's also a much newer course, which is both good and bad. You'll stand up more from the crowd if you complete this, but it's also less well known. And there are a lot more differences, including the actual skills, which I'll talk more about in this video up next somewhere on the screen. And I did actually compare these two certificates in more depth. So if you are interested in a complete comparison of both of these, click the video on the screen to check it out and I'll see you over there.